Hello, this is Amanda Verrett from the Office of Instructional Design and Distance Learning at Northern Kentucky University with Mike Lively. This is tutorial video 5 out of 8. In this video, I'll be discussing editing the Nader photograph part 2. After processing the photographs through PTGUI and Pano 2 QTVR, the Nader photograph is no longer distorted and now will be a lot easier to work with. This is especially true if the ground is patterned. So first, before we hop into Photoshop, I'm going to rename a cubic photograph of the Nader because later on when we process it back into an equal rectangular photograph, you need to have this uh, sequence of photographs all with the same name in numerical order. So I'm just going to add on old to the end of library pano cube 5, and then I'm going to open up that photo in Photoshop. There are a number of ways to go about doing this, from the clone tool to making different layers and layer masks to using the vanishing point, and it all just depends on your situation. This is a really basic edit, so I'm just going to make different layer copies and use layer masks. And then drag it over. I'm going to do, make sure you're selected on background when you try to do the second selection. And I'm just going to go back and do a few layer masks. Again, a layer mask is like putting a transparent layer over the photograph and you can use the brush tool with black to erase and with white to reveal. When I'm doing this, I also lower the opacity of my brush so that you don't get as hard of a line when you're erasing. I'm just uh, tightening this up, like smoothing out some of those edges. They're less apparent. I'm going to do the same for layer two. And then in order to get rid of that line in the middle of the two copy layers, I'm just going to merge this down onto the original image, and from here I can use the clone tool. Push Alt to select the area, or option if you're using a Mac. And there we go. Looks like we hadn't even been there. Now go ahead and save taking just that old part off so it reads library pano underscore cube underscore five so they'll again fit back into the numerical ordering of the rest of our cubicle projections and save all right now with the completely edited nader photograph we're ready to go back into pano 2 qtvr and convert this cubic projection back into our equal rectangular photograph